The permanent membership status to the Politburo has been approved for Vice President Dr. Nikki Iambo, former Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Libertina Madila, former Speaker Dr. Theo Ben Gurirap, and former Minister Ben Amadila. The Swapo Congress also approved permanent membership status to the Central Committee of former Secretary General Dr. Ngarikutuka Chiriange, former Secretary of the Elders Council Kanana Hishono, and Swapo's founding member Helao Ndadi. Secretary General Nangolo Mbumba made the announcement during an interview with NBC News. This time around, because they are all delegates to the Congress, they will have the right to vote to vote for others, but they are not standing themselves. In the future, however, those who have permanent status and their role is to, to advise, we don't want them to be voted for, nor have the power to vote. The number of the Central Committee members remain the same, and we are actually they are clearing some of the places for younger people. So the democracy remains, but also, the recognition of history is there for everybody to see, so that we don't lose our roots. The party also expressed the need to clean up the administration of regional structure to ensure systems are working optimally. It is true we have to clean up our system. We have to really make sure that our sections are properly organized. Our branches consist of the number of sections that are stipulated in the Constitution. Our districts are properly ma managed, and we have to separate the district leadership of the party and the constituency leadership in terms of government. A regional councillor cannot be at the same time the leader of the party. Once somebody is elected, he remains a government person. The Congress will elect a president, vice president, secretary general, deputy secretary general, while also electing new members to the Central Committee. Salmi Hangula, NBC News, Vinduk.